This is the big concern in the lead up to this fight. At least it is for Fulton's trainer, Wadi Ibrahim. And that is what's happening in the locker room right now of Naoya in a way, of course, by his father's side, his father Chingo, his trainer. But there was a complaint, Tim Bradley, about the hand wraps by Team Fulton, accusing in a way of, quote, stacking, saying the taping technique creates a cast like substance. Well, this is the moment of truth right in front of you. That's normal. That's that's a normal rap right there. That's and there a, is Wahid Rahim. Yeah, that's normal. That's a normal rap right there. That's what I was talking about. One little small little layer of galls, and now you can add some tape on it. So Rahim standing over and looking, as is the case. The commission is sitting there, as is a representative from the Fulton camp that is allowed. And Rahim said, "I want to see it. I want to approve of it." And Mark, how much of this was gamesmanship leading up to this fight? Do you believe? What's going on, people? Shimanda YB back once again. So Team Anue have clowned on Fulton. And I did warn about this, people. I warned about this because I saw a funny video on TikTok. And they were talking about... I've done, I'm, done, I'm kind of switching topics, but it's relevant. You'll find out in a minute why. Basically, apparently in the US, yeah, some there was some Supreme Court decision made against affirmative action. Affirmative action essentially means that if you're down bad, if you come from a down bad place and you, you're half on, yeah... You're in the top, you're in the 90th percentile or whatever. They help you out, yeah? If you're down bad and you need a helping hand, they help you out. They put you on, kind of thing. Anyway, a lot of Asians have been complaining. Oh, you know, all the black people are taking all the school pl places and whatnot. Anyway, some Asian guy came out on TikTok and said, Listen, all you dudes, all you Asian dudes complaining, or who have been complaining about affirmative action, now that it's gone, you're F U C K, do I? Because now, when you don't get in, what's going to be your excuse? You can't blame no black people anymore. My point? With Inoue and Fulton, Fulton might as well have kept quiet about the gauze or whatever it was, the tape. I mean, it, it was shocking as it was. He, Fulton said, oh, well, Inoue puts a piece of tape on the bottom first or something. And then just, it, it didn't make no sense. It make, turns it into a cast. Anyway, back to my original analogy. Fulton just got smoked, yeah? His best bet would have been, let him have that little bit of tape that ain't going to do none anyway. And then, when we, get, when we get our ass knocked out, we can then complain. Oh, it's the tape that was there. Yeah, but now, team, look at this guy. Look at this corny ass dude here. This Fulton, Fulton's train is posted up, yeah? And he's got his camera out recording it like he ain't seen it with his own eyes. Like he needs some evidence there. Corny ass dude, man. Do you know what I mean? 100%. You know, but anyway, back to my original point, yeah. Fulton now has no excuse. And actually, respect, I've gained even more respect for Inoue. Inoue came out originally when these claims were made and said, listen, just like in America, every state has different rules. I'm following the Japanese rules. You're welcome to follow the Japanese rules too, since we're in Japan. However, despite that being his base case, Inoue, he want to prove he really about it so much, he's prepared to box in Japan with American rules. Yeah? And Inoue gave Fulton an American whooping. Uncle Sam style. Yeah? Well, to be fair, I'm trying to think. Uncle Sam ain't be whooping no one, truth be known. He got kicked out of Vietnam. Oops. <laughs> I got kicked out of Afghanistan. You man ain't whooping no one. <laughs> you just getting all your taxes bumped. That's what happened to you. It's a big Ponzi scheme all going to the top. Yeah? To the military industrial complex. That's the only thing you're whooping. Yeah? You're whooping their pockets up, boosting them all up, pumping them up. Yeah? So. Listen, like I said, I got a lot of respect, even more respect for um, Inoue because this shows he's really about it. Yeah, he ain't politicking. He ain't trying to cheat. He he, he gonna he gonna listen. No matter what you're wearing, some men like women in red pants, for example. Listen, and there's other dudes, more hood dudes. They call them dogs. If you're a dog, you don't care what the females wearing. Yeah, this, you're just trying to get it in. In new way, he don't care what you're wearing. He don't care what you're wearing. He don't care what gauze there is. He gonna tear that ass up. Yeah? He from the hood. He a dog with it. Yeah? A lot of men, they have kind of, oh, I like blonde hair. I like red hair. I like blue eyes. So in new way, don't, he don't discriminate. He gonna, he gonna whoop that ass like at their birthday. Do you get that, people? Yeah? 
No, oh, but you know, I don't really like black girls. Anyway, like all the ones. You know, if you're black, American, don't matter, you'd be getting whooped the same way. And even look at Nonito to there. Yeah? Listen. In new way, he like all the different ones. If you're Mexican, what did Adrian Broner said? He don't care what you are. You're Mexican, something like that. It was some sort of thing. Puerto Rican. He went through all the cans. Yeah, you best believe it. In new way, don't it don't matter what it is. Yeah, he tearing their ass up like it's a birthday. That's just what it is, people. Oh, oh, his glove, his glove. They was talking about the gloves. They was talking about the PDs. Oops, yeah, again, you best have hoped he was on the PEDs, because if he cleaned, and he did what he did, damn, that's bad for you, how are you going to politic your way through that one, do you understand people, how do you politic your way now, that you've got no glove excuse, you've got no gauze excuse, you've got no rap excuse, you've got no PED excuse, you just whooped, yeah, you know what I mean, he gave you, all due respect to Inoue, Inoue gave Fulton, that equal opportunity ass whooping. That's what you give. And I respect Inoue for that. Why? Inoue, he knows that affirmative action... Me, personally, I agree with affirmative action for what it's worth. I agree with it. I think if you've had, a, if you've struggled, yeah, like, to get on, you should be given a little bit of a leg up. All these rich dudes be going there. And that's what I don't understand. No one complaining about the rich dudes. Yeah, all them rich dudes at Harvard who pay, literally, they pay like 35 million, 30 million. It's well documented. It's known. If you're rich enough, you can just pay. If you're rich and, you know what I mean, you can pay to go there. No one complain about that. All these conservatives about affirmative action. Oh, it's not. Uh, yeah, they ain't moaning about that. They ain't moaning about that, are they? Oh, no, they're not. Yeah, but if you're a black dude, or anyone, regardless of race, really, but everyone focus on black people, yeah, but regardless, if you're white and broke, if you're black and broke, anyone broke, yeah, should be put on, in my opinion. I'm not saying if you're in the 20th percentile, Obviously not. No one's no one going to Harvard, unless you're rich, is 20th percentile. But if you're in the 90th percentile, yeah, and there's other dudes who are rich and they're in the 95th, F them, man. They ain't really work for it, have they? They get all these tutors and all this, that, the others, and they have, you know, no, it's whack. Yeah, if you've got out of the mud, you should be given a helping hand when you get to the top, in my opinion. Yeah, but nonetheless, regardless of my views on affirmative action, yeah, I respect in new way. Why? Because he is an equal opportunity ass whooper. Don't matter who you is, where you from, where you flying in from. Yeah, Nonito flew in from wherever he was from. One of them South American ones, I assume. Philippines, I don't know. You know ones? Puerto Rican, I'm not sure. Yeah? He be giving out them Puerto Rican ass whoopings. Yeah? Them African American ass whoopings. Don't matter where. He be whooping, he be tearing the ass up. I like that. I'm the same to be fair. Females, for what it's worth, if a female's bad, she's bad. I don't care what. Oh, I was, some dudes are like, oh man, I don't do this. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can do them all if they're hot. Ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm doing. If, if an alien was hot, I'd be doing that too. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> that's, what, that's all I'm fixing to get. Obviously, if they butters, then they butters. But if they're if they're hot, man, they're getting it hundred percent. And that's what anyway it says. Anyway it says, have you got a belt? In the boxing world, the equivalent of being a bad female is having a belt. You got a belt. I'm tearing ass up. You see that? Yeah? He ain't politicking. He ain't sitting here doing no Supreme Court, whatever else. He coming in and tearing ass up. Anyone can get it. Yeah? He get, he be handing out all the opportunities. In new way, he be handing out scholarships. Do you understand that? The scholarship to the school of ass whoopings. He put you straight on there. This thing, oh, what's that? You got Listen, if you've got a world championship belt, in new way, he will... Fund you all the way through the college, yeah. They will fund you all the way through the world championship colleges. Look at Fulton. Fulton had two belts. Who do you think funded that? Who do you think put Fulton on to gather the belts up? It was a new way. A new way sponsored Fulton's rise to hundred percent. How else? Come on, people. The school of ass whoopings. They ain't handing out. It's, it's rare to get into the school of ass whoopings. They ain't handing out scholarships willy nilly, yeah. In new way, pass that to Fulton, yeah, and he whoop his ass. That's what he signed up for. To be fair to Fulton, that's what he signed up for. He knew what he was doing, yeah. When new way came to him and said, "Listen, do you want to collect some belts for the school to become part of the school of ass whooping?" He said, "Yeah." He got the belts, and in new way, tear the ass up. Do you understand, people? Anyway, salute to a new way. Salute to Fulton for what it's worth. He was of 
you know what I mean? He, he weren't, you know, he, fair play to him. He was a fair, he was a fair candidate. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the bell 100%. No doubt.